if you don't speak up, what happens is you can become invisible in an organization. More than ever before, speaking is the new competitive weapon. What you do is you take this third finger, you bend it, right? Put your. Yeah, right I want to put your hand back a little bit so they can see. Put your okay. finger here right. on the knuckle and put it back. Uh huh. And then press on this spot. So an acupressure point. An acupressure point. point. And this, this goes, goes where? It goes to the heart, and it's a way to short circuit anxiety. Really? I worked with a woman recently, and we worked on the breathing and this fear factor thing. Uh -huh. And she felt that this was a big success. She came back and said, I'm usually very nervous before I speak at my networking group. And this time I was calm. She nailed it. You gave she her really good did. things to think about. I really believe everybody can be effective in delivering a message. Gifted speakers are born, but effective speakers are made. stand for a moment. You know you need to work off those cookies. <laughs> okay. All right. Raise your hand as high as you can. Take your right hand. Can you see me in the back? I am standing. <laughs> All right. Form a fist. All together, touch your chin. This is your chin. <laughs> for those of you, be honest now, for those of you who did this, why? You saw me do it. Am I that powerful? <laughs> what this demonstrates is this. Whenever there is a disconnect, people will believe the visual over the words. In other words, people literally will discount what you just said in order to believe what they see. They will discount what they hear in order to believe what they see. That is the power of the visual. I've known Diane DeResta for about 10 years and we've worked on several projects together. I've referred her as a writer and a speaker and a consultant to several of my corporate clients. And when people work with Diane, they love her. She's terrific and I highly recommend you considering Diane DeResta for all your communications projects. What you want to communicate in the workplace is professionally attractive because glamour is important. You want to wear makeup. You want to look good. That's part of your brand. But you don't want to push it to the extreme. Now, on the other end, the women who look frumpy, these are the women who have made it to a certain level. They've worked harder than anyone else. They're knowledgeable. But here's the mistake. At a certain point in your career, when you're a leader, it's no longer about what you know. It's about your leadership. Speaking is a leadership skill. Speaking is the new competitive advantage and here's why. We are in such a society of commoditization that it's really hard to differentiate anymore. And what differentiates you as a brand from somebody else is your presentation. So it behooves us to do it and do it well. And if you avoid speaking, it's career suicide. You must get out there. This is one of those equalizers because when you're out there speaking, you're visible. Get out there and let your voice be heard. She is a superb resource for presentation skills, for effective communications, for persuasion, for influence. And she has a knack for working with people in short-term improvement so that the results can be seen readily and quickly, so that people are better able to influence their constituency, their audience, their members. Anybody can be an effective speaker. It's both a science and art. It's not hard. It's just taking one skill at a time and practicing it. Think about it. We're all public speakers. I was at a conference one time and a woman, I heard someone talking about my presentation. And I heard her say, I thought she was good, but I'm not a public speaker. And I wanted to shake her because we're all public speakers. It's all public speaking. Do you leave a voicemail? That's public speaking. And if your voicemails are not being returned, that's the reason, because you're not saying it in a way that's compelling. 
Do you speak at meetings? Do you give updates? That's public speaking. So we're all doing this all the time. There are definite skills to use. Once you master them, you're going to be effective. For the past three years, I've been working with an executive vice president. When I first met with her, she was a senior vice president. And we were tasked for working on her presentations. We did that, checked it off. But in working with her, I noticed something. She made a big contribution in terms of the revenues from her department. And yet, she was the best kept secret. I said, do people know what you're doing? And she said, I don't think so. Long story short, she's just made the cover of her industry newspaper. She is now looking for corporate positions on boards. She's really come out from someone who is invisible to someone who's really stepped up and is speaking up.